Welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach. I'm the voice behind the icon. And today we are back in American Truck Sim once again with our long haul series. I know you can't tell, but this is our blue Volvo 6, 680, 780, 760, 760, 670. Oh my goodness. I'm so wrapped up in what everything is. I just completely lost my mind. Today, I know it's in the dark, so we're going to try our most imagination. We have a wrapped up flatbed with steel. That's right. We have a lot of weight behind us. Hence why there's like four axles on this thing. I've never seen anything like that before. My assumption is going to be a bitch to try to turn. Um, it's not unloaded correctly. This is apparently is a trailer that can be driven. It is it is part of the mod. I wasn't expecting that when I picked up the load. I was expecting I could take off some of the axles, but it is what it is. So let's hop in sign. Got our dome light on, just finishing up our paperwork. Saying hi to Ella. It's a whole nother story once we get going here. Turn the key. Start her up. All right. We are going to be going from Los Angeles to, okay, where are we going again? We are going to Phoenix, Arizona. It's going to be a pretty long trip. Uh, get that going. Just make sure that everything is good. Sorry. I'm just, I just smashed my mouse around. All right. I think we're all good. And let's hit the road. A lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of things coming out with American Truck Sim that I want to talk about, as well as things we've done with Truck Sim. Just want to make sure we get out of the yard safely. Had a car almost plow into us as soon as we got uh, to the yard. That was a good time. <laughs> but just make sure we're going to go safely. The reason I'm not starting where we did before is because some of the updates that we have done. So, I know you can't tell because I don't start at the home screen, but we did start start the game with updating. So we are up to the newest version, which means if we were driving a regular truck and a regular trailer, we would have the cables, etc, etc, etc. We don't have them on this because it is all modded, but that's okay. Um, I finally did do the upgrade technically by mistake. I ended up doing it by mistake because I was playing around with if they had fixed the Featherlight trailer yet. That's what's been, sorry, I had to move the mic, guys. That's what's been keeping me held back from doing updating is because I tested out a couple things on my laptop and it found out that when I was driving our custom Featherlight trailer, regardless of the custom or the stock one, um, whenever we had a full-size cab, whether it was the Volvo, Peterbilt, okay, maybe I might blink out by mistake, you dick. Oh, lots of power. Come on, tug, tug, tug. Yeah, I don't like the turning of that trailer. But, um, yeah, every time we had a full-size cab and we ended up uh, turning left to right, like for a 90-degree turn or whatnot, uh, it ended up jackknifing the truck and locking us there. So we couldn't get it around, damaged the truck, damaged the trailer. So it was this on and on debate and debacle, and I saw that they had updated the game again with a small update, and I said, maybe it's fixed, maybe it's fixed. So it turns out it wasn't. Uh, I want you guys to look at this truck as it goes by. See how it's got the semi-cab? It doesn't have the top. Oops. Yeah, imagine that. This, that was my fix for um, being able to do our Featherlight stuff. We are not going to be able to drive around our, uh, our 760 for a little bit. The one that's got all the miles that we've been racking up on it. So what I've done is I've done the mid-cab. I've, I've repainted a skin for it. Uh, a little bit newer too, a little bit of an update because we're updating some eye racing stuff and ended up uh, we're going to use that for our next video so you guys will see that if you haven't actually already seen it I can't remember the order of how everything's coming out you may have already seen it if you have, that's just because I'm recording out of order and I do apologize just going to get across like this 19 lanes of traffic here just keep going straight all right, there we go. But yeah, so we've updated the game. That's our workaround until they fix the trailer, which is fine. It, it looks a little funny, but after spending uh, two weeks at some home tracks and just seeing what they show up to the track with, it, it fits. I feel like it's going to fit for our K&N series. 
Uh, still, fingers are crossed, in a couple weeks we're going to hear about AI and iRacing. I'm just going to make that all worth it. But we'll find out. Let's see, are you that stupid road again? We're going to pop out really quick. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to ask that every single time we come through, even though I think it is. Yeah. You stick here. Um, but there's that that we've updated. Updated some of the skins in, in the game. What else? What else have we done? Trying to, like looking off into space, trying to figure out what we've done. There's some other things that we've updated or changed in the game. I think it's all going to be subtle, though. Really excited to get back into it, especially with the update, because I know that there's some amazing stuff coming soon. Like, of course, we've talked about the wood and my feelings on that. And what we plan to do when it comes out with the wounded industry, as well as another really big exciting thing that just came out the other day. I think it's about a week now since I first heard of it. Is we are going to be getting ooh, break marks, that's new. We are finally going to be getting the ability to own your own trailer. Now that's a lot for me. That that excites me a lot for the fact of our long haul series. I'd love just to own a reefer trailer. For some reason, reefer sticks in my head better than anything else, but I have a reefer trailer that's ours that we have to take care of and bring it from place to place. So fingers are crossed for that. Really excited to see how that's going to change. And um, it's an, another great thing I think they're doing for the game. And it's going to be free. That's going to be a free update. So I think they're definitely hitting in the right direction. This is like... The first time you've had the ability to own your trailer since 18 Wheels of Steel, many, many, many a year ago. So, congrats to uh, CSS, SCS, SCS, for um, bringing yet again another amazing thing to the table. Uh, early morning drive, get out of the city. This is actually why I did it, because I knew I could get out of the city before the traffic jam. We were in LA in December and the traffic that was there was ridiculous. I didn't drive around, don't get me wrong. We only we, we took transfers and stuff everywhere else, but it's bad. <laughs> Let's see. Um after you've seen this we actually have done a couple more uh racing events. Actual racing events. We've gone to Thompson Speedway and Adnock Speedway, um stuff like that. Again, not Thompson, uh Claremont. Claremont Speedway and Adnock Speedway both for modified events in current time that is going to be in the future so super excited about that as well as of recording this video um, Ella is on day today's what Tuesday day three of wearing her cast she's doing okay um, she definitely could be doing better and the reason why I say she could be doing better is um, she could be taking it a little bit more easy she has a tendency to get very excited and rambunctious. Ooh, smog. This is new. I don't remember fog being in the game before. Huh. Um, she has a tendency to push too far with playing, especially when she's broken. Oh, broken down bus over there. Uh, she just takes it a little too far from time to time, and she ends up, end up actually getting herself hurt because she's still healing. She still has a broken toe, and she'll just jump around, and then all of a sudden she'll yipe because she realizes that, oh, yeah, I'm in pain. You know, it's the joys of having a puppy who's injured. But that's uh, that's kind of what's happening in, in our life, is currently taking care of an injured pup and recording games. Uh, classes start in two weeks. Well, people start coming back in two weeks. Classes, I believe, start in three. And we're going to be in full swing of teaching again. Um, actually, by the time you see this, we're already back down to one video a day, except on the weekends or special videos. I think it's just going to be easier for me to manage as we move forward and hell if I think that we can get two out a day um, I'll hop right back into that but I know I'm gonna get busy once work starts up so just giving you guys a heads up it's gonna be two videos a day at least and probably till a winter break or so and maybe we'll get a couple more out there but just want to give you a fair warning and besides I think one a day is plenty it still keeps good consistency and plus it takes a lot more off my shoulders you know I, I, I just finished over the last couple days 18 videos and are really proud of what we're doing some of them etc but then when I put them up for two a day it barely lasts any so yeah no and of course we've got a lot of things change into the channel coming up you know 
uh, one day a week is going to be, I think in, I kind of want to do it on Wednesday as Wife Wednesdays. I think that'd be fun. Where uh, there's just a duo video of Danielle and myself. We've got, but we've got so many games to get through. I don't know if we can do a Wife Wednesday yet. Plus, so we've got Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. We have, um, what are the other games we have? House Flipper and we have Jurassic World Evolution. Both we're still working on to complete. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see if Wife Wednesdays, Wednesdays over become a thing. All right, I'm going to hop out and grab a screenshot. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I have to figure out what looks good. I know I say that every time. I just never know. But yeah, really excited to continue this series. Hoping to turn these into like more coast to coast kind of trips. Ooh, we need gas. Hmm. Yeah, let me just look here. Okay, we do have a gas station come up. I was like, oh, that's going to be bad. Sorry. Leaving around trying to get my GPS to go. My bad. Back on the road, dummy. Turn off our lights there. Let's stop up here, get some gas. I didn't even think about filling it up before we left, and especially with how much we're pulling. I just do miss a lot with that kind of size axle, but... Yeah, no. Oh, I'd also like to say thank you to all those of you who sent birthday wishes. Um, means a lot to me. Um, my birthday was on August 8th, and a lot of people reached out through Instagram or via YouTube and said happy birthday. So I really do appreciate that. That does mean a lot. Oh, just gas on that side. Okay, well, we're going to have to actually check into the map here in a second to figure out... <laughs> Where can we get gas? All right, I'm gonna hop into the map. Let's find out. Alrighty. Well, I mean, I could come down there and get gas. There, then a way station. Um, let's plan on stopping there if we can't make it to Phoenix. Phoenix is 251. Let's see how far until E. Man, I don't know if I want to run it that low. Yeah, we'll get off the highway. That's not the end of the world. Besides, I think we still got some time. It was a rush delivery, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, another thing. Duh. I am completely out of it. Uh, we've updated our map. So when we actually start driving our truck, um, another video that I'm going to be filming soon is going to be the K&N truck down to New Smyrna. I'm filming that actually tomorrow. And it makes me wonder because... I wonder what's going to be updated um, because we updated our map in the game because we purchased New Mexico. Uh, I, I decided I wanted to. I wanted to be able to get the most up-to-date map for... Ooh. I literally just fucked up harder than I ever could have. Uh, why do I have those two buttons next to each other? I literally went to reset my camera and turned off the truck in the middle of the road. So, we're going to do a quick crawl of shame. I can't believe I did that. Oh my god. It just... Wow. Alright, so, me dropping the ball this episode. How are you guys doing? Alright, that's fast enough. Get on over here. 35 miles an hour. <sighs> I'm a danger to others and myself. I don't even know what I was talking about before that. Oh yeah, New Mexico. I wanted to be up to date. I'm really looking forward to the fall and the winter for what's coming out for game updates. Danielle and I got some great ideas for games that we want to play together as well. Part of Wife Wednesday, so we've just got a handful to finish. So, a lot of time. I, that's the thing. I, I keep on being like, I want to record all these things. I want to record all these things. Well, I got plenty of time to do it. You guys aren't going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. We'll get to them, just not in a overly speedy manner. You make it an episode of per thing a week. I kind of want to have it set up where it's like Planet Coaster, City Skylines, a trucking video, iRacing video, and you know, maybe then a Jurassic World or something. Have a nice kind of layout. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I knew I was getting up to speed, but slow her down. 
great time out through the desert. I didn't check any of the uh, notes for the updates because I had been holding off updating for so long that I don't even know what's going on. But we are going from Los Angeles to Phoenix and then uh, hopefully the next load, if I remember correctly, is going to go from Phoenix to New Mexico. So fingers crossed that I remember. I know, I, I have like a little journal that's here on my desk that I was starting to keep everything in before I went digital with calendar. Uh, then I had too many mistakes where I had to jump back in and say, okay, I know I like doing it by hand, but I think electronic might be better. And guess who was right? I know there's a gas station way out there, but with this trailer, I'd rather find a trucking gas station. And all of a sudden, they're yawn. Hmm. It's the first time I felt tired in a while. I did some heavy lifting today, but still. Not like lifting weights either, like getting things ready in the theater. It's interesting, on my desktop next to me, uh, my second monitor is showing off a picture of the Greyhound mod. Got to do a handful of those too. I just. I wish it didn't take so long to render videos because it takes at least what I run right now, even with my. What do I have? 32, 16, and 8. 16 and 8. So what is that? It's 24. I have 24 gigs of RAM in here. Um, and it, it still takes to render a video in 1080p with the software that I use. It takes, like for a half an hour video, it still takes about 20 minutes, which isn't bad. I'm going to be honest. still not bad compared to what I've seen other people struggle through. Um, I just wish it didn't take so long or I could have a secondary computer to edit on just because I just want to record more videos. Like I'd rather sit down and do a whole bunch of them in a row and just stockpile. I know that's not like the best way to approach doing YouTube, but I don't know. It might be a little bit easier with some of my schedule that I end up getting. Don't mind getting a little close to that left lane for such a big trailer. There you go. Stick right there. Hoping to get back into live streaming, um, just because I usually fire out videos so quick. I don't usually live stream except just when it's Danielle and myself. So I'm hoping to hop back in there to do that. Sorry, all of a sudden a yawn just came over me. Oh. I promise I'm not falling asleep at the wheel, I'm just running out of gas. Um, we should make it, but no problem. Because it's right outside Phoenix, but I'd rather not roll in on an empty tank. Especially with the heat that everybody's been getting recently. You know that the AC is cranked in this truck. I mean, I wish I had an AC in my room, but I know my microphone's going to pick that up. And I don't want to... Ooh, busted! Right off the off-ramp. Um, I don't want to have that in your ear the whole time. I'm already still working on, like, mic distances and how far away I should be from the microphone. Because I know you hear me breathe a lot, and I do... I still apologize. I got a small system going on just because I, I do some sound engineering for life for a living does not mean I have the equipment to back it up. See, a couple of these trailers have updated like that fuel trailer. I've never seen it before. No idea. All right. Oh, I think I saw a Sunoco one too. I'd love to pull one that's a Sunoco racing fuel. Oh, that'd be so cool. All right. Airberg. Start slowing down, get off this exit. Right up there should be our gas station. Ehrenberg, Ehrenberg. I think maybe. Let's pull up here. in that lane too long, but I just need to make sure we're going to fit in here. Perfect. We'll go right over to this first pump. Get her filled up. Grab a snack, actually. I've been driving since 3 a.m., so probably coffee. I don't drink coffee, but a coffee would probably be good right now. All right. Let's click that off. Let's get out. All righty. 
I've never let this tank get that low, so. Not necessarily shame on me, it's just I should have checked before we left. But yeah, that's what it looks like in the daylight, mind you. With all four of those axles. I know that I could pick up some of them. I just, I have no need to. I just want to do some more flatbed work. I know, I wish I could see underneath it. I know that we're pulling steel. That's what I know. Cap back in. And let's get inside. Buckle up for safety. All right, let the electronics come up. Fuel looks good. All right, 717 bucks. Ow. <laughs> Make sure nobody's whipping through the parking lot. We'll just pull right through here. Right outside of Phoenix. So we'll go and deliver this before noon, I would assume. A dull warehouse over there. Looking good. Yeah, this thing will pivot worth crap, so hopefully wherever we're delivering it to, they're just going to let us pull through. Nice Kenworth going through there. Oh, red and Coca-Cola. Awesome. Can't see that way. That's my own bad. Good. Not that it would help at all right now, but we're good. All right, back on 10 East. I think this is the crossover point where we're actually, where we already in Nevada, where we could have gone been going faster. I don't know. We do have a way station up ahead, and just because I know that we are a little, not necessarily behind, but I know we're pushed. I uh, I do hope that we can go right on by, as any trucker would. Uh, of course not. Yeah, oh god, they've updated that beeping. Yep, I got it. Into the way station we go, everybody. Yet again, I still hope they eventually have penalties or something in here. How they would do that? Maybe when owning your own trailer, you can figure out how much weight you want to put in. We are not empty. Here's our paper, ooh. There we go, here's our paperwork officer. 121,000 pounds. Holy damn. All right, looks like we're all good. Thank you so much, you have a good day. Let's get on out of here. There's a truck coming up on our left wheel. Just quickly get on up here. I'm gonna line behind us too. To start trying to get up to speed now. Alright, speed limit is 20, 75 now. 25. 75 now. But of course, we've got a hill. Gonna get this steel up there. What, what's it, what, what are you looking on the outside? I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this. Oh, I'm trying to, trying to do an outside view, but it's not letting me. Just not a fan of those four axles. Yeah, there's no... There we go. Like, there's no outside camera through here. It just looks heavy. I'll, I'll give you that. Alright, let's get ourselves back up to speed. I think this is one of the guys that's behind us, so... How you doing, buddy? Lucky you being able to go up to speed. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful though. Makes me want to fly. Interesting. Anytime that I see some beautiful scenery, I just want to fly in X Plane 11. It's so beautiful that. I don't know. It can just span over a couple games. <laughs> How much further we got? Two hours still? 100 miles? Alright. Oh, well, 
minutes. Hopefully we can get up to speed. What time are we going to be there? I said before noon. Oh, yeah, I guess so. If we can get up to speed at least. I'm trying. We did not put the most powerful engine in here. Because I, I wanted this one to be a little bit more of our realistic truck. Coming up on this guy right now. Shouldn't hog the fast lane, dude. I know, I could have gotten over there and made a move over, but still. I feel like we're convoying right now. Keeping traffic behind us. Traffic break. Good time. I'm curious to know, uh, what do you guys want to see come to American Truck Sim? For those of you who play it, or for those of you thinking of playing it. What's the next thing you think they can prove on? I know a lot of people have been talking about other trucks, but the modding community's really got that kind of down pat. Um, I'm hoping for more customization of maps. I know that people put in, you know, maps, but they use pre-existing town pieces. Very rarely, I think, I don't think I've actually seen anybody put anything custom made in here. They just repurpose what's already in the game. Because if, if I could figure it out, um, I would put in NASCAR tracks. I'd use this mod that I'm using, this coast to coast map, which I think I'm on version 3.5 or 5 something. There's a 5 in it. But I would uh, put the NASCAR tracks that I'm traveling to. You know, with our feather light. That, that's entertainment to me. Oh, we got something up ahead. Actually, I'm going to put on my flashers because it, it kind of comes up on us pretty fast. Okay, he's going to let that person in. Oh, man, what do we get up here? We got cops galore. This is a new one. This is new. Oh, it's a three. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, my God, there's four cars involved. Holy crap. So there are new... There's new roadside stuff, too. Holy crap. That was awesome. I hope that people at least make it this far in the video. If you don't want to watch anything else, watch up until that point. I did not know that we were going to have new random road events. That is awesome. Two thumbs up. Way thumbs up to you developers. Thank you for keeping that alive. You know, because you, know, you run into the plane, or the, the, you know, run into accidents every once in a while, that's fine. The plane, you see a lot. But I, I like seeing a variety. That's, that's awesome. Man, I wish I had a drink with me. Didn't run into the store, so... <laughs> I didn't actually grab myself one. I think when we do long haul uh, live streams, we'll probably do it. I think I'll maybe, I know you guys won't know this, but I think maybe the NASCAR one I'm doing tomorrow, I might actually do um, live stream it. Are we in Nevada now? Is that the Nevada sign? No. Okay, well, try. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to get this load down. Been a long drive. Not as long as like when we go down the coast or go across the country, but still. Same trying to think out. We're at Rockingham this week for iRacing for the Canon series, and then we are going to Richmond. No, New Smyrna. That's that's the place we're driving tomorrow, and then Richmond. I think we're gonna end in Richmond, which is kind of cool. Right now we do have the point sleeve, so fingers are crossed that we can kind of hold on to that. We have the point sleeve in the super late models as well. And uh, we just tied for the lead um, in the Wheel and Modified series. The SK Modified, which I'm bummed, we've actually won quite a bit. Um, there's a developer Fi racing in it. Why? I don't know. Well, I did find out that he is a developer, which is why he's so far ahead of us. Not that he's cheating or anything, it's just that uh, he knows the track. He knows which line to run or the perfect setup. Ooh, we're at 65. That's quick, I don't remember seeing a sign. Don't break, check the 18-wheeler. 
he's going to win. I guarantee it. Interesting. New roads and everything. Tucson Airport. Tucson. I might say Tucson. Does anybody, say, does anybody call it Tucson? Wait, do we have another truck scale? Okay, I don't think we do. It's like, really? All right. It looks like the road's been changed a little bit. That's pretty cool. I like it. I'm gonna come up here, Phoenix Industrial Zone. Well, that's us. Turning on the blinker way too early. And speeding a little bit. Getting ahead of ourselves, getting excited that we're almost done with our run. More break. And here we are. Ooh, weird. Game froze just a little bit. You gonna let me go? Dude, I, I'm glad that you want to let me go, but... It's the red car on the left here. More worried about clipping the front of his car. Am I gonna be able to get by you happily? Oh, I wouldn't have risked it. Definitely wouldn't have risked the front end of my car. <laughs> Granted, we've got a lot of miles on our belt right now, but still. All right, we are heading within city limits. Okay, we're not going to FedEx. I actually don't know where we're delivering this to. They got updated again, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Slow right down. There we go. Some low tugging there. Probably just shift down a little bit more. Do what you gotta do. Alrighty, so it's this uh, farm or plant. I think it's a farm, but where do you need it? I think I've been here before, actually. Do you have a pull in spot? Because it really, your last time's back in with the flatbed, I'm not overly gung ho on uh, backing it in. You know, I bet you, maybe if there's no trailer, we could actually get back there. Because if we can pull through, I'd be a very happy camper. I don't remember what we picked up here before. So that's where they want it. Oh, okay, so it's not open. I thought it was. No, on the map, it looked like oh, it was open. All right. So that's not bad. Ooh, they got more flatbed work here. Like more flatbed work. Okay. Let's throw this over here. And throw it this way. Actually pull a little bit more forward. And back up. Oh, I just realized I have those little blinkers all the way in the back hanging off. That's cool. Did not notice that before. This should be an easy back end. Should. I thought the farm the other day with the flatbed was going to be easy, and I got my ass kicked by that, so. I guess it's all a mystery. Yeah, 
we've got this. This one's no problem. We have a lot of room to work with, that's why. There's that. And we can hop back in. Set emergency brakes, turn off those flashers. Um, let's climb out really quick. We can drop that trailer. Looks good, and it's exactly noon. That's awesome. I said before noon, but we'll take it. We had to stop for gas. All right, we went 409 miles, 8 hours, 57 minutes to complete, 100.4 gallons of fuel because it was a heavy load. And it got here time, and you can't ask for better than that. Oh, that was fun. I, I really enjoy the flatbed series, and I think we're going to continue to do that for a little while until we get something better to do. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, we do live stream on Twitch at PadfootTD. You're watching this on YouTube at PadfootTD Space Games. If you want to follow us on Instagram and see our really cute pups, it's PadfootTD Games, all one word. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let us know down in the comments below what you thought. I'd really like to be able to hear your feedback. And again, I'm doing this for fun. I'm having a ball doing this series and I love playing American Truck Simulator so I'd love to be able to share it with you guys and hopefully my commentary is getting uh, more entertaining than it has in the past uh, trying to be more engaging with you all especially once I can start uh, streaming these once again um, if you really do like what you see though um, a subscribe or a follow on Twitch or YouTube is always appreciated because it does uh, inspire us to continue making great content for you all and uh, I love making videos for you all but with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.